everyone. You'll find a link for the mold right there. And this is my bread mold, the old one. And I'm just gonna make one bread here for you. Uh, so you just pop it in the mold, cut off the excess clay, and then you are going to scribble in the texture on the top surface. You can see even more in the video I linked to in the info box below. I am just scribbling the texture into the top piece here. Normally I then leave it for a few minutes and then I am popping it out of the mold so it's still on bacon. Here I am using some soft pastel, first a yellow to give it a more bread colorish look. Then I am brushing it with a very light brown, this one, and I'm giving it all over here everywhere. And this kind of bread, I am going to make it look like it has been in a toaster. So I'm taking a very fine brush and some darker brown here. Um, I'm just uh, working here on the edge of the bread. It does not really work for me that well. And then I got too much, so it's a bit burned here. Mm, it sometimes is a struggle to do it, but I'm leaving this in so you can see I too struggle here and there. Anyway, I'm trying to get rid of most of this and still get a little brown on the edge. But the way I did it in the old video was actually easier for the edge of the bread. I wanted this to be a toasted bread, so I took the darker brown and I'm making these uh, lines here on the bread. First with the dark brown and then I am this dark brown here, this red brown. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of the really, really dark brown and making some um, more burnt stripes. Just like this. And I'm gonna do the same on the opposite of this little piece of bread before I bake it. There you go. I want to make a pâté for the topping of this bread, so I took some white clay and I am cutting it into small pieces. And then I am taking, this is some odd uh, dark brown icing I made a long time ago and I'm just popping that in there just a tiny bit of it and mixing it really good together I want small lumps in this but then again I don't want it uh, and I'm using my female liquid here just popping a tiny bit of that into it just like when you're making um, uh, icing. This is just not gonna be as um, liquid as icing is. I want it to be a tad bit more uh, firm. And I am just looking up the colors of um, this pa uh, pate and trying to get the color right. Just uh, mixing in some soft pastel colors till I get the right color and mix and mix and mix. I got this color here for the pate and I really thought it was perfect until I put it on the bread and baked it and it was kind of too light in the color. So I just uh, mixed in more colors in this pate. But I spread it out on the bread, the baked bread, after I put a tiny bit of liquid fimo on the bread. And then I'm just spreading it so that it looks like a pâté. And I'm going to take some of my cucumber um, cane and just pop that on there and bake it. And you can see the color is just totally off. So I mixed in some more uh, brownish colors and I'm just going to do everything again. Smear it out on the bread after I put a tiny bit of female liquid on there and then of course my cucumber canes um, As you may saw before I actually made a piece of bread that was even bigger than this one Because this little piece of bread here that I have is um, Around 10 centimeters 
by 10 centimeters in real size so it's kind of um, the smaller bread and I decided I want some of the bigger um, types of bread you can see them lying right here and I'm just gonna glaze the cucumbers a tiny bit after baking so that they uh, are shining and good looking I made some uh, bread pieces that was cut in a triangle and I made some texture on the cut side as well that's the one you can see in the upper left corner now I am just giving it some super matte glaze to keep the color sticking to the bread so that they look as I want to and I'm doing that on all sides of this um, even the pieces that I did with the pate on there I'm just gonna do it on the bottom of those to make the color stick that is all there is for this little bread uh, pate video I know it's not much but um yeah I will have a small video surprise for you later this week um that was a big car driving by by here I don't know if you could hear that but that was annoying um anyway I am having a little surprise video for you in a few days here um because um there's a reason for the bread to be toasted like this one so hang on and you will see in a few days thank you for watching and happy crafting <laughs>